My 2003 Yamaha Kodiak four-wheel drive has been overheating until I've been figuring out what's been the matter with it. So I took the front front rack off and the front cover off to get into the radiator and it does have a fan on the back side of the radiator. I don't know if you can see in there. Yeah, there's the radiator and I've already taken the fan out because I had tested the temperature and it seemed like the thermostat was working okay because the fluid was circulating and I determined that the fan was not going around so I've taken the fan out and there's some fans motors on eBay and so I put electricity to this with just going to a battery and the fan wouldn't go around it was stuck and I did get it freed up but it still turns very hard and so this little motors burned out I need to reuse this rack I can get another new fan motor off of eBay and I hope that fixes the problem Okay. We we are going to show you how to make the fan work again on our four-wheeler. Okay. Yes, we got uh, the fan out and everything and it was frozen. And I just kept messing and messing with it and it broke free. felt real cruddy in there. Like it was rusted. And I just kept messing and messing and messing with it. And let's see if it works. So this is my side. So we're going to hook it up to this battery here. Doesn't matter which way you do this, it'll just make the fan turn one way or another. Are you ready, Luke? Yeah, I got them hold. Got them hold held on there? Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Don't do that part. Yeah, that is really dangerous. You could actually burn yourself. Probably. Yeah, if you make a fire. Like that. How about oh, that? Yeah. Oh, that feels so good. Well, that's how you fix your four-wheeler fan. So we just kept messing and messing with it. You think that's going to work? Yeah. Well, we can put it all back together. Okay, I've got the fan working. You can hear it in there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oops. Anyway, it's in there and it's blowing. There you see it. It just shut off. So I got quite lucky with my overheating problem, I think. It's, so it's got a thermostat and it's got the fluid that's in the radiator coolant and it has that cooling fan and then it's got the controllers electric controller to turn the fan on and off so it's either going to be one of those things and I got lucky that it was just a stuck fan motor and I was able to break it free and put it all back together and it worked so I hope yours works out fine too